Well, the water rights issue uh, hasn't only raised the hackles of Māori, it's also raising the temperature of racial debate, with further claims Māori are receiving special favour. But a Massey University historian, Peter Mehana, says the idea of Māori privilege is a continuation of colonialism. Jodi Ihaka has the story. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. This is Pākehā privilege. Wealthy, white and superior. This is Māori privilege. Poor, brown, beneficiaries, sucking up taxpayers' hard-earned money. That was how a political ad man pitched a campaign to win more votes. I want to expose 40 years of fraud, um, such as this um, phony definition, the, the phony definition of the word taonga. Here's the real one. But what Ansel sees as privilege, Māori see as restoration of justice. And Massey University historian Peter Mayhana is hoping to set the record straight. He says the concept of Māori privilege still permeates through politics today. Peter Mayhana says Māori privilege is defined as treaty settlements, education scholarships, health services and a well-documented history of special rights. In New Zealand there's a belief that Māori are privileged relative to those to other native peoples and it's that belief that, uh, that uh, allows for colonising to continue. Well, I think that's entirely typical of, a, of, a, of an albino with a, with a bone carving around his neck <laughs> I mean, uh, from a New Zealand university. John Ansell delivers confronting statements and reveals interesting props he says are designed to jolt the nation. Well, I do intend to be divisive among Māori. I want to divide Māori between the honest ones and the dishonest ones. Peter Mayhana teaches history at Massey's School of Humanities. He says the idea of Māori privilege is entrenched in New Zealand culture. There were John Ansells in 1840. Well, yeah, there was. And, uh, and typically they were New Zealand company officials. And uh, this notion that Māori of privilege was, was actually used as a form of propaganda to promote Settlement. Why is everybody so obsessed? Money can buy us happiness. Māori privilege is a concept Peter Mayhana says is designed to marginalise Māori. He's examined the first hundred years of colonisation by researching government policies, settler records, newspaper reports and treaty claims. He's determined two types of Māori privilege exist, official and popular. The settlement of treaty claims. That's what I'd refer to as a, an official privilege. The, the, the response to that is the popular privilege. Uh, and each works uh, together in a particular way to achieve a certain outcome. It was the settler population who were arguing that Māori were getting things over and above uh, them. His research shows that by the end of the century there was widespread fear about Māori land ownership. The introduction of the Māori Land Act, established in part so Māori could lease to Pākehā settlers, wasn't greatly received by Māori. It was a compromise. I mean, they just wanted to be able to do uh, uh, with their own land watch what they wanted to do. Uh, the settlers saw it as a form of Māori privilege. Um, this, this whole idea of uh, landlordism um, was an abomination. He says the media of the day was blatantly racist and served the settler readership. The New Zealand Herald at the time ran a quite intensive campaign um, against, the, against leasing and uh, they were saying uh, that uh, the outcome of having a Māori landlord class was that it would create indolence. Okay, so you'd have a, uh, Māori would become lazy. The notion that, uh, you know, that, that Māori are greedy is connected to this idea of Māori privilege because uh, uh, you know, Māori already have these things, Māori already have these privileges, but they want more. John Ansell says mainstream media coverage of the asset sales highlights Māori preference and prompted white backlash. Well, academics are saying to me today that this is another form of modern day colonisation. How do you see it? I think that's a ridiculous claim. This is negotiated with iwi. I mean, there's a lot of different people who claim to talk on behalf of Māori, uh, and we're finding often they're wrong. 
But some Māori disagree, and the Māori Council will mount a legal challenge opposing the asset sales. It's entirely typical of the thuggery and extortion that we've been seeing. I mean, these guys are presumably driving around in very nice cars. The people at the bottom of Māoridom are as badly off as ever. But Peter Mahana says colonisation continues today because politicians campaign on the concept of Māori privilege. Examples, he says, are Don Brash's Ōrewa speech when he was National Party leader in 2004. And now Prime Minister John Key's repeated assertions that Māori don't own the water. Colonisation is happening now. It's, uh, it, it's, it's part of the... It's part of the, the makeup, the cultural makeup of New Zealand society. John Ansell aims to come here to Parliament at the next election as the leader of a new extreme right wing party. He's planning a huge election campaign and a State of the Nation speech that he fully expects to be labelled racist. If nothing else, I'm going to press, press on with my evidence and, uh, and see whether the public are ripe for what I call a colourblind state, a state with. Um, you know, a, a, a country with, with uh, racial, every, every citizen is equal, votes on the one role, lives under the one law, and, uh, and, uh, all, and his taxes, uh, his or her taxes, are distributed according to need and not race. Now, for that, I'm a racist, apparently. I'm the general grand imperial wizard of the Ku Klux Klan for thinking about that sort of thing. And I just think that just shows... Uh, that we are a topsy-turvy la-la land and we've got to, you know, I, I want my campaign to jolt people out of that nonsense. I know that uh, Māori, uh, they know intuitively what, what uh, they know intuitively that uh, this whole notion of privilege is, is, is rubbish. Peter Mayhana says Māori privilege, for him, is being a proud member of Ngāti Kuiya. He hopes to publish his findings next year.